Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, and uh, thanks again for all of your questions. And this is actually a question that that several fans had, and it's what are the what are the camera settings that you use? Now, personally, I don't do a lot of still photos of my Phantom 3, primarily because I I film my 4K 30 frames per second video most of the time. Check out my other tutorial on 400 or below.com where I explain which uh, video settings I use for the Phantom 3 professional. Uh, but as far as my photo settings are concerned, these are the ones that I use. Now keep in mind, I'm a, I'm a very simplistic kind of guy, so I don't really dial down into the manual settings. You can get a lot more in-depth if you choose to do so. So how do you access your camera settings and which camera settings do I use? The first thing you're going to want to do is toggle. See where it's on that? It looks like a DSLR camera. If you're over there with what looks like a video camera, you don't need to be there. You need to toggle over that little white slider. See, now it's under that DSLR camera. And then you're going to want to select this icon up above that looks like a camera with a gear. And you may be on the second page. If you are, just hit back. So these are the settings I use. For my actual image, I use image format J plus R, which is JPEG plus RAW. At a high level, if you're snapping a still photo, if you have both the JPEG and the RAW image, if you do some enhancements in post-production, or maybe you have a professional that wants to do some enhancements within post-production, having that RAW file in addition to the JPEG is very beneficial. Now, using a Mac like I do with the current Mac OS X and the Photos application, it's able to import both the JPEG and the RAW into the Photos application. So it doesn't add any sort of extra confusion to your, uh, to your ability to download, to import those images. Image size, I use 16 by 9, but you can also do a 4 by 3. Why do I use 16 by 9? Well, everything that I film in video is 16 by 9 format. That's called the aspect ratio. So at a high level, in, in plain English, it just means if you've got a widescreen TV, like an Ultra HD TV or a Full HD TV that's wide, it's more than likely a 16 by 9. So when I'm shooting photos, which I seldom do, but when I do, I want to have those photos in that same aspect ratio. So if I do want to, let's say I'm doing a YouTube video and I want to put a uh, still photo in there, I can put it in there and it won't look stretched or anything. Now, as far as other settings, I use auto white balance. You can choose other settings if you choose to do so. And maybe if you're a more power type user, you may want to do that. Um, and in the style, those I'll leave the same. I don't touch those. The grid... I, I don't use a grid, but see, you could put you could put a grid up here. See that? Or you could do this to make it feel more like a camera. So th that may be something that uh, uh, that you like. And actually, I'm going to put my grid on there just so I can better uh, better line up my shots. That was a setting I didn't have on. So that's it. It's that simple. Those are the uh, Phantom Three camera settings that I use for my Phantom Three Professional. So thanks for watching. If there's any other topics you'd like for me to try to address within upcoming videos on 400 or below.com, uh, just ask and I'll try my best to, uh, to whip up a tutorial for everyone. Fly safely and, and y'all have a good day.